What is up everyone? My name is Jonathan and today we are doing another Adobe Illustrator tutorial. Today we are making the letter F in Adobe Illustrator. Everything about me is in the description below. All of my gear is down there. All my social media is down there. Feel free to give me a like. Click on a link before you leave. Let's get started. We are going to be creating the letter F and we are going to start by just creating a rectangle. So grab your rectangle tool, click and drag that out. Pretty good size. It doesn't matter what color it is at the moment. And then we're going to create another rectangle about here. This is going to give us our initial F shape. So we hit V for your selection tool. Select both of those. Go over to your Pathfinder tool. It might be in a panel over here. If you cannot see your Pathfinder tool, make sure to go to Window. Go down to Pathfinder. My Pathfinder is right here. And then we're going to minus front. And then we're going to select this. Actually, we're going to go to our Adobe color themes. We're going to go to explore and then we're going to type in ice because we're going to do like a frozen letter. So let's choose this one. Works for me. Making sure there was nothing left behind from when we minus the front. So now we're going to grab this tool Grab your rectangle tool again. We're going to drag out a whatever this is called. I don't know what this is called. So hit the letter A on your keyboard, brings up your direct selection tool. We're going to grab this path. We're going to drag this. No, we're going to drag this one. Drag this one up. Click on this one. Drag this one in. We're going to do the same thing for the top here. We're going to do the bottom. Drag up the bottom. And then this one, we're going to do the same thing for this. So this is where we are. This is what we got going on for starters. Now we're going to grab your pen tool. We're going to click on the path somewhere here. Click here. Drag this over. Would have been really helpful if we had made this uh, like easier, way easier to see. Like if we had used black or something. So we can see it. All right. Now we can see. So now we're going to select the shape and the new path. We're going to go over to your Pathfinder tool, hit divide, right click, ungroup, and now you have two separate pieces. We're going to get rid of the stroke and we're going to get rid of the stroke on this shape as well. We just want two separate pieces though. Create a copy of this shape. Oops. Control Shift V and that way it will paste in place and all we want is the stroke but we're going to make the stroke black and now we're going to hit C and this will bring up our scissors and we're going to cut here and cut here now we can select the, just this side over here we're going to delete that we just want this path for later now we're going to make some sort of gradient for this, uh, this top piece here Oops, we don't want to be on the stroke though, we want to be on the fill. And we're going to use, we're just going to use these standard colors here, not Scion. We'll do this one. Cyan, I guess it was. And then we're going to click on this one again, but we're going to go over here to your uh, RGB panel. And we're just gonna change it a little bit, make it a little darker. And once we've done that, now we have the initial gradient. So now we can click on this piece, hit the I, hit I for your eyedropper tool and click on this. And that way it will copy the gradient to this one. Hit G for your gradient tool and then drag this up. I want this to be a little darker up here. And then the top piece, that looks fine. Uh, we'll change it a little bit. I just want this to be darker over here on this side. Kind of like that. That looks good. And now for this, uh, this little stroke piece, hit I again. But we don't want a fill. We want it to be the stroke. We're going to click on this. Still did that. 
I'll just swap it. Okay. So now that that's that, now we're going to go to properties. We're going to make the stroke bigger, thicker, probably 10. And so you can see how it's a uh, square. That's not very aesthetically pleasing. So go to stroke, go to uniform, click that profile. And now it's this nice piece here. We're going to add a point to our gradient and we're just going to make it like this we're going to make it like uh, white, maybe a little bit of a blue. Just realized we're not changing this one. So we'll drag this over. Now click here. We're gonna change it to white. And we're just going to make this uh, not quite as vibrant. So that looks good. Now we're going to click on this piece and we're going to add the gradient to this one as well. Go back to your selection tool. Now go to your pen tool, hit P for your pen tool. And now we're going to click off of here. Click here and here, 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 here. However you would like to do that, then connect these. Now go to A for your direct selection tool. Click on here and drag this in. Click here, drag this out. Click here, drag this in. And if I uh, should have added one more point over here so we could pull it out and make this a rounded corner. So what we'll have to do is drag this down and then hit our pen tool again, go up here, click and hold, add anchor point tool. So now we can add another point Go to your direct selection tool, click on this one, drag this up. And this way we can smooth this out. Drag this up. Drag this over. That way it's a little smoother transition into that piece. We're going to click here, drag this out, and then we're going to, so now go to your pen tool, click on drag, drag this out, hold shift, and it will make this uh, uniform, I guess. Holding alt in your scroll wheel, you can zoom out. So now we want to hit V on our keyboard and make the selection. And now what we're going to do is click on here, hit G. Make sure you're on the fill so you can see the gradient. So the gradient is about here, all the way over here. So we want this gradient to match this one because it's dripping off of here. So hit V on your keyboard, select this piece, hit G to grab the gradient, click and drag this all the way over here. That way, it's, that way it is the same color as this piece. And now we're going to hit L for our ellipse tool. Click and drag, click and drag. Hit V, select this, bring this down here. Bring this down here. And now hit the eyedropper tool and I'm actually going to select these gradients, this gradient for these pieces as well. We're going to change this to a uh, radial gradient. We're going to swap that around. Radial, swap it around. We're going to make this like 90, 80. All right, that looks good. Now we're actually gonna to need to move this up just a little bit to 
add this piece to the bottom. So now we're going to do the same thing for here, but I'm actually just going to drag this down here and modify it so that it fits here. So by grabbing, hitting A, you can grab this direct selection tool and drag these up. Move the anchor points. Good to go there. Now we can, and that's actually the same color as the bottom there. Looks like it is to me, anyways. Pretty close. So now we're just going to hit uh, V to grab our selection tool. Hold Alt. Oops. Hold Alt. Click and drag. Change these size a little bit. We're going to we're going to make another one of these over here. So click here, click here, click and drag that out so it matches up pretty close. Hit escape. Change the stroke. Click on the stroke. Change this profile again, so it's a nice, you know, uh, nice pointy edge there. That looks good. Now we're going to go over here to our rectangle tool. Move this over a little bit. Hold space. You can move the artboard around. Click and drag. Obviously that looks terrible. So we're just going to grab this color here, right click, arrange, send to back. Now we're just going to do a nice gray. So now that we have the rectangle still selected, you can hit control two, that will lock the background in place. So we're just going to select these pieces. drastically change the gradient so just reapply the gradient shift M for here as well so now to create the drop shadow we're going to select all these pieces we're going to hit control C control shift V right click arrange send to back and then arrange bring forward one that way it'll send it to the back and bring it forward one we're going to change this to black. We're going to click and shift, click, hold, shift, and drag just a little bit. This way we can create a nice drop shadow effect. Now we're just going to go to effect, blur, Gaussian blur. Blur it as much as you like. Go to opacity, drag down the opacity some. And then I use the arrow keys to move it around. That looks good there. And we're done. That concludes today's tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something. And don't forget to smash the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want more future content like this. As I said before, everything about me is in the description below. Let me know in the comment section what you learned and what you would like to see in future videos. Thank you for watching. It means so much to me. God bless. Stay safe. And we will see you in the next one.